And all of that frick of fracas, if you look back, history will tell you that she was let go from Hot 97 over that. When he grabbed his trunk to pull it down, some girls that was taking pictures. They took the, that picture and emailed it back to Wendy Williams. Camera said, yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole thing. We need to document this, Playboy. He was like. So Jamie Foxx suffered a very serious medical emergency that landed him in the hospital. So now there's a juicy link between Wendy Williams and the one and only Diddy, and the internet is on fire with it. Wendy Williams recently called Diddy out on his habit of stretching the truth like a pretzel, and it's no secret that he has a history of doing just that. Not only that, but this bombshell information is connected to Jamie Foxx's recent hospitalization. Do you really think that? It's just like a soap opera, except in real life. You wouldn't be wrong to worry that Diddy could get in trouble for this. The implications of Wendy's remarks are spreading like wildfire around California. In other words, settle down with some popcorn because this scandal has just begun. It has been said that a sultry photo of not one, but two shirtless males is circulating online. Could one of these hunky guys maybe be the infamous Diddy? People all around the web are scrambling to make sense of it. However, that's not all. If you've been reading Wendy's hot thoughts, you know that she just revealed some juicy details about Diddy's rumored homosexual relationships. And that supposedly led to her getting angry and losing her job. Wendy, however, has more tea to spill, so hold on to your hats. Jamie Foxx's recent health problems, in her opinion, could be related to him revealing details about Diddy's raucous sex parties. Right about now, you're probably wondering, is this just another baseless rumor? Don't worry, though. Wendy never shows up without proof of what she claims. This time, though, she has Jean Deal, previously Diddy's bodyguard, dishing the dirt. But wait, there's more. Jaguar Wright is another musician that has been leaking juicy details about A-listers like Diddy and Alicia Keys. But Wright has been strongly denouncing this kind of behavior, even when others are silent. And it seems that Deal is on her side as well. It's no secret that Diddy encouraged Wendy to expose his gay activities, which may explain why she began abusing substances. It's tragic that it appears Fox is going through the same thing. In 2021, the well-known host publicly discussed her battles with alcoholism. Well, for some time now and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house, Williams emotionally revealed to her audience. And you know I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past. I never went to a place to get the treatment. I don't know how, except God was sitting on my shoulder, and I just stopped. Williams was trying to get better, according to a source close to her, but no one was ready to discuss the motivation behind her drug use. Wendy has been brave enough to make herself the face of addiction, the source says. It's a disease and a very real and constant fight. It's been extremely difficult to put herself out there and be vulnerable as this is such a private struggle, but it's too important a topic to ignore. She is known for keeping it real and felt the need to keep it real for her fans. Wendy Williams knew the Daily Mail story was breaking and wanted to be honest with the viewers. She wanted it to be her story to tell. Let's back up and begin at square one. Wendy Williams, who was a radio host for Hot 97 back in 1998, has made some shocking charges about Diddy's sexuality. But when Bad Boy's creator heard what Wendy was saying, he allegedly used his influence to get her fired from the radio station. Wendy and Diddy's hatred lasted for 20 years after this. I know what you're thinking. But what does any of this have to do with Jamie Foxx's recent health struggles? Wendy claims that the scandal stems from revelations made at one of Diddy's wild sex parties. An evil music mogul once supposedly dispatched a girl band to school, our dear Wendy. According to her story, a crew named Total arrived to beat her up in front of the radio station. Total was reportedly attached to the mogul's label, Bad Boy Records. Sure enough, Diddy was the mastermind behind the whole thing. I finish my shift, round up my headphones to see everyone lined up on the side of the window, looking down at the sidewalk, she recalled. When she got downstairs, she saw this girl group jumped out of a gypsy cab to kick her ass. In her book, The Wendy Williams Experience, Wendy revealed that she had harbored hatred towards Diddy for nearly two decades because she believed he had attempted to harm her career. She was forthright in her assessment that he was responsible for her suffering on earth, but she said she still didn't hate him. Wendy had long hoped, but never expected, that Diddy would appear on her show in 2017 and officially end their rivalry. I know I've pissed a lot of people off, 
including you, she told Diddy as their interview started. But this is a full circle moment. Diddy went on Wendy's show and talked about his feelings for his then girlfriend, Cassie, in an effort to patch things up and put the feud to rest. I'm totally in love with her, he said. The legendary talk show presenter has had her fair share of health and personal issues over the years, despite her reputation for having a sharp tongue and daring judgment. She had a 10-year struggle with cocaine addiction at the beginning of her career, and she's also been dealing with Graves' illness, hyperthyroidism, and other health issues recently. However, Diddy's involvement in her situation, as he has done with Jamie Foxx, may be news to many of her millions of admirers. Who doesn't know about Wendy Williams' infamous marital problems? From cheating claims against her ex-husband to her own health problems, the talk show queen has seen her share of adversity. Wendy and Kevin Hunter were married for 21 years before she filed for divorce in 2019, after learning that Kevin was the father of a child by another woman. In January of the following year, their divorce was formalized. Wendy is a formidable opponent, but not even she is immune to the virus. After having some unpleasant symptoms in 2018, she was forced to cancel three episodes of her show for the first time. She quickly got up on her feet and assured her followers that she was okay. It didn't end there though. As Wendy battled Graves' disease and hyperthyroidism, she took three weeks off later that year, leaving her admirers worried. Wendy's doctor suggested she take some time off to rebalance her medicine, and when she returned, she was better than ever. Even more juicy details emerged from an interview Wendy gave in July 2018 to promote her Be Here national campaign with the Hunter Foundation and discuss her decade-long struggle with cocaine addiction. I was a functioning addict, she proclaimed to Entertainment Tonight. The ratings I was getting meant that they couldn't terminate me. My ability to halt was miraculous. After losing her radio job due to Diddy's influence, the talk show host reportedly began using it. There was a lot of drama surrounding Wendy's departure from the legendary New York radio station Hot 97 in 1998. The host of the controversial talk show had alienated several of her colleagues in the very music industry she had set out to examine. Wendy was even referenced by name in a song when Tupac Shakur asked, Why you turn on me? It's not only Wendy and Fox who have called Diddy uncool either. The statements Wendy and Fox made about Diddy are true, as they have been validated several times by Gene Deal, a former close colleague of the tycoon. According to Deal, he was in a Philadelphia nightclub when he saw Bad Boy CEO Diddy tell R&B singer Music Soulchild to take off his turban. But wait, there's more. Later, after Jaguar Wright accused Deal of being paid to keep quiet, Deal praised her for speaking out and dismissed her claims. Back on the subject of the pressing matter at hand, he continued. Meanwhile, Wright has seriously accused her former supervisor of manipulative and unfair practices. It is time to investigate these claims thoroughly. In his words, baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Gene off. Ain't nobody ran Big Gene off. It's not happening. Never ran and never will. Never have. From nobody or no man. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So I've heard you say that twice. Somebody sent that to me twice, so I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally, do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. It ain't Big Gene. You might be speaking about somebody else. You are not speaking about Big Gene. Deal's defenses against Wright and Wendy's claims fell flat and gave more fuel to their fire. He said he became religious as a result of his time while working with Diddy. The ex-bodyguard also brought up Mary J. Blige since Jaguar had implied she was involved. Jaguar had previously accused Blige of hiding her sexuality from women for years and challenged her to a musical competition, all before the Diddy incident. Jaguar persisted in her charges despite pushback, going so far as to issue a dance challenge to the queen of hip-hop soul on Instagram. Jean's new interview serves to bolster the claims made by Wendy Williams and Jamie Foxx, who have also spoken out against Diddy. During a business trip in early 2000, Jean alleges he accompanied Diddy to an exotic bookstore, where Diddy allegedly purchased a bag of sex toys for his children, including numerous butt plugs. Jean further claims that Diddy intended to bring the toys to Jaw Rule's residence after the North Carolina event, despite Jean's best efforts to dissuade him. Many people have taken to social media to voice their amazement and horror at these disturbing allegations. Jean isn't the only one with interesting anecdotes to tell. Wendy has voiced her displeasure with the pervasive homophobia in the hip-hop community. She was being serious when she said, I'm not down with any of that, so I didn't push the issue. 
clearly he's not my type. There was also a substantial gay population in the 1980s, in case that wasn't obvious. Which is more distressing, refusing to acknowledge reality, as when males in the hip-hop community are told they can't wear skirts or that they need to have many children to feel like men. This is the culmination of several earlier occurrences in my career. In light of the recent speculation around Diddy's sexual orientation, many are wondering if the rapper has any interest in male partners. Despite his love connections to women like the late Kim Porter, suspicion about his sexuality has persisted. One of the many offspring of these unions is Christian Combs, who is currently following in his famous father's footsteps in the music business. Diddy has denied being gay on numerous occasions, yet his actions throughout the years have given rise to speculation to the contrary. In a recent music video, Diddy raps the lines, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved? But that I know how I really want to be loved? But I'm, but I'm like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it, slash. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. After hearing this, do you really believe Diddy is straight? Let us know in the comments section below. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.